Beloved, many people are haunted by shame, a subtle internal struggle linked to past trauma or perceived failure. Unlike guilt, which results from specific wrong actions and can be resolved through forgiveness or restitution, shame is more elusive. It thrives in secrecy and isolation, distorting our sense of worth and our identity in Christ. This makes shame harder to overcome, as it requires a deep transformation by God's grace, moving us from feelings of unworthiness to victory. In Genesis, Adam and Eve hid from God after the fall, ashamed of their disobedience. Yet God in his mercy called them out of hiding. Through Christ, he offers us the same grace, the freedom from both guilt and shame. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. We read in Romans 8 verse 1. In him we are given a new name and a new identity as ch children of God. We read that in John 1 verse 12. Shame distorts this truth. It damages our self-esteem. It distances us from others and hinders our spiritual growth making us feel unworthy and flawed. Yet the psalmist gives us hope. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. To overcome shame, we must recognize it and bring it to light. Healing requires vulnerability, courage and connection. Confessing our struggles exposes the lie that we are unworthy of love allowing God to replace shame with his truth, that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Beloved, I encourage you to surrender your shame to God. Authenticity is not about being perfect, but about accepting that despite our flaws, we are deeply loved by the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Embrace God's grace and healing, and walk in the light of victory. Through confession and the renewal of our minds, shame loses its grip and we live in the truth of who we are in Christ. I pray that goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives and that we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Stay blessed. Shabbat Shalom.